guys for even being here to hear me. I want to thank Reverend McGee for coming out. Thank you. And also my friends from Andover Newton. Thank you so much. When I asked God, I said, what shall I tell the people? And the word I received back from him was so clear, so quiet, just a nice, still voice. It said, tell them who you are. And I said, great. I'm a mom. I'm a seminary student, you know. I started thinking about all these wonderful attributes I could describe myself. And then I went to the lectionary. And this is the verse that was there that stood out to me. It's Romans chapter 5. Verses 6 through 8, and I'll be reading from the New International Version. You see, just at the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous man, though for a good man, someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us. And then while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So I said to myself, hmm, you want me to tell him this? God, you want me to tell him that I'm a powerless, unrighteous sinner? This wasn't quite the first impression I had in mind. (laughs) But you are indeed Lord of my life. So here goes. Let us pray. Almighty God, you know we have no power in ourselves to help ourselves. Keep us both outwardly in our bodies and inwardly in our souls, that we may be defended from all adversaries which assault the body and from all evil thoughts which assault and hurt our soul. Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of our hearts, Be acceptable in your sight, my rock and my redeemer. Amen. Well, I've already told you that I'm a powerless, unrighteous sinner, so I guess I should tell you something a little bit more positive about myself. I lettered in volleyball. I'm very proud of this. In high school, I loved volleyball, and I was an intricate part of the team. And people would scream my name from the benches. They would say, Charla, 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 can you bring me some water? Charla, can you bring me a towel? Okay. I was the water girl. (laughs) Adam Sandler did a movie where he was the water boy. And actually, he was recruited into the team and help them win a major victory. Well, that's not my story. I was powerless. No matter how cold the water was, no matter how many clean towels we had, I had no power to help the team in their victories or in their losses. I was powerless. Have you ever felt powerless? I know I have. All I have to do is drive into the gas station and look at the gas prices. Powerless. War in Iraq? Powerless. Ask your husband or your wife to use the checkbook ledger? Powerless. (laughs) Ask your teenager to keep their room clean? Powerless. And all those situations I'm describing are situations without power, but that isn't the kind of powerless that Paul is talking about. Paul is talking about looking in your rearview mirror and seeing that the car behind you is speeding up and is going to hit you. That kind of powerless. He's talking about a mother watching from her kitchen window as her child gets hit by a car. That kind of powerless. He's talking about the powerlessness that I felt as I watched my father being eaten away by cancer. That kind of powerlessness. And I wonder if Christ felt this same powerlessness when he looked at the bitter cup. But I am so 
I am so grateful that while we were yet in sin, in that mucky, miry place, Christ died for me and for you. First thing I, I think about when I think about this letter that Paul wrote to Romans, I, and I find it so interesting, was that Paul hadn't been to Rome. 